excited about this wig because straight out the box, I can already tell this is about to be a really natural slay. I requested this wig specifically in the details that I knew would give me the most realistic results. I'm pulling it up in the ponytail. Stick around throughout the video. I'm gonna share it in details with you guys as we move into the install and also explain why I chose certain details. But look at it already, girl. Like, it's just already, the flow of this wig already is just, So take a look at this wig. It has an invisible elastic band. This is the type of wig designed to make your hairline look natural and undetectable, giving you the perfect base for a high ponytail. So when you cut the lace in the back of this wig, you want to make sure that you do not cut this elastic band. I did go back and bleach the knots and you guys, I also added some highlights just to give it a little bit of fun, okay? Cause this hair is beautiful by itself. I just wanted it to look sun-kissed a little bit. So yeah, I added some blonde highlights just going through. Very soft, no tangles. Of course, I can run my fingers through it. I've already cut the lace off the back of the wig. Pulling your hair up doesn't have to be complicated. Wear your hair in a high ponytail, you definitely want to glue it down with something that is secure. Um, I don't wanna go too secure. I don't wanna have to clean up my hairline from glue. What I'm going to use today to install this wig is the Lace Bond Spray by Kiss. This is a 10 times hold. I absolutely love this spray. It works really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and just install this wig with the spray and then we'll move into everything else. And this wig is 130% density. So when you get curly or wavy hair, you don't need to go into a huge density because the curls and everything is gonna give it volume, go more thicker. Like this is great. Like I love this density. So I'm using some really small scissors just to make sure I cut the lace close to that hairline. And this lace is truly amazing. The hairline, you can cut back a little bit if you feel like it's doing too much for you, but I think this hairline is perfect the way it is. It gives me options to create edges, so I'm gonna leave it as it is. With the elastic in the back, and I should've did this before I put it on my head, you wanna find that string. Where's the string? So my string is right here, see it? And you want to pull, it has this little I don't know if you guys can see this little ball right here, slide it up and just pull to tighten the wig. So if you look at it, see how it's scrunched up? Compared to the first wig that I did, this one actually is pulling a lot better. It's scrunching so you know that it's actually tightening up. This comb is going to be what holds everything down. So I scrunched it that much, look at that. Look at that. Like, I love the way this is. Girl, the secureness of that back. Okay, I'm gonna tuck the comb in the back of my nape. I got the clips in my head. <laughs> I may go back and I might tighten it some more because you don't wanna have to glue the back of your nape at all. You want it to lay as flat and feel as comfortable as possible. And that's what this elastic is all about. It's creating a less bulky nape area where you don't need to glue it down and also be able to save your hairline around the nape area. And the strap is very strong. Like I haven't popped one yet. So, but still you can still be gentle with this so that that won't happen. But if you wanted to not wear glue at all, look how well this blends. I haven't put any glue to this hairline and the strap in the back is so secure that it's pulling and making sure that that wig stays secure at the front. For my install, I'm going to use the wig dealer spray to tint my wig cap. So yeah, I used to tint my wig cap. You can use it for that also. It's really, really good. I'm gonna let my hairline dry down completely, let it cure before I do anything with the back. But for the front, I'm gonna go ahead and start to smooth that down uh, and part it down the middle of the wig. But just split the hair in half on the back. Oh, this hair is so daggone soft. Oh my God, it's so soft and silky. But okay, so you want to have your first half and the back you just kind of want to pull out the way for now. You can use hair mousse or you can just use water. Whatever you feel like will work. Spray around this area. Where's my brush? Okay. Okay. 
I'm gonna take a little bit of hair mousse. Just a bit, not that much. Now, depending on how your hair is braided underneath, it's gonna determine how flat this lay. For me, my braid is going here and here, so it's gonna cause a little bit of bulkiness right at the side. So I'm gonna try to squeeze this. But you kinda wanna flatten this area as much as possible, just depending on the look that you're going for. Right, so yeah, just tie it down. You don't have to be neat. Just get it flat as possible. The dryer to it for a little bit. You can sit underneath a hooded dryer too if you would like. All right, it's been about six minutes or so. And I held the dryer the whole time to take it down to see how flat it is. You can always go back and tie it down if it's not flat enough. Ooh, okay, that hairline looks really good. Really, really good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and spout it back and show you guys how to pull it back up. Let me just put this out the way. I'm gonna wrap this up here. All right, let's move to the back. For the back, you wanna make sure that the comb is inside. I'm gonna take my water bottle and spray. I'm gonna just brush the hair up. Get the inside up here too, so that I can flatten down. Attach it to that ponytail that's at the top. And then you just wanna add a hair tie to both ponytails. Pull it up. I'm gonna spray it with some water. Pull it down some more if you need to, like if you feel like it's too far up. Okay, so this is how the nape area is looking so far. And it actually is looking really good. I like the way everything falls. Just fix this bun a little bit. I want it to do like a really cute, messy bun. It gives a more, I don't know, it's like a natural look, so pretty. Look at that. Yeah, and just pull, you can pull some strands down. Really cute. So this is a great summer, spring, wear with a sundress, whatever. <laughs> One or two, you can wear the ponytail loose instead of putting it up in the bun. So all links will be below in the description box. Make sure you guys go, this wig is everything. Like if you're gonna get a wig, get this wig for spring and summer. It's comfortable, you can pull it up. There's no bulkiness in the back and you can wear it very naturally. I highly recommend this wig. I will put a discount code below in the description box. I'm definitely keeping this one because I need this one, but be sure to check my used wig sale if I have some wigs over there. They will be in the link in the description box. But yeah, let me know what you all think. I think this turned out really natural looking, very beautiful. Uh, yeah, again, check the description box, thumbs up the video, and I will see you all in my next video. Mm -hmm.